Okay then, the how-to at 2 Weirbrook Street. First of all, be polite when you go in there. I suggest you take a sandwich, lunch and something to drink. You want to be comfortable, it's not that you're going to be there forever. And you should introduce yourself to the staff there and let them know honestly exactly what you're hoping to do. And then uh, request the book around your year that you think you were adopted. It could be your birth year, but it could be any time for up to a few years after that. So, so to be, be careful about that part. Um, I would suggest that you go with a friend. I would suggest that the friend uh, be an, a non-adopted person and that you go through the process and find her or his birth certificate. So you understand each of the steps and where the information comes from, okay? That'll help you an awful lot, okay? Um, then, after that, um, if you wish to try your name and second name, and you don't know uh, your parents, your mother's, birth mother's uh, surname, what you can do is pick the month, in my case it was June 1960, the month of that birth, in my case it was probably 90 pages worth, it's just uh, a list of each of the people who was born that day. Go through it, seek out your name, so in my case it was Michael Joseph, and I went down and when you encounter Michael Joseph, you go across and look back up and you'll see the name of the Bert Mother. If the name of the Bert Mother is the same as the person who is uh, your parent, then that's a possibility because most of these adoptees were adopted out of wedlock so your parent, your birth mother, was not married, so her maiden name is the name that will be on your birth certificate. And you just follow that process. So you go along down, seeking out the Michael Josephs. When you encounter Michael Joseph in this month, and then you look across, and if the name, in my case, Gowan, uh, corresponds on your name with a gown, that is a very strong possibility that that is your birth certificate. So what you do is you simply request a form in the same way as you did for uh, your friend and you submit that. So you're requesting for four dollars, four euro to purchase that birth certificate. I think that will get most of you your birth certificate. Uh, in my case, I'll just tell you a little snippet to show you why it's important to be polite and cooperative with the staff there. Remember, the staff have seen this many, many times before. So don't be impatient with them and don't be demanding with them and don't be over inquiring with them. In my case, I went and I found Michael Joseph. I went down and I found a surname so I requested that birth certificate. But I was under a timeline. So I, while they were doing that, I continued on. For whatever reason, and I'll explain this some other time, uh, I realized that that one I had requested was not mine. So I was just coming along looking for more as they were approaching the bench. And I turned around and I said to Grania, the staff member, that I already know that's not my birth certificate. And she continued to come closer and gave it to me because I had purchased it for four euro. And she stood there and I was continuing furiously looking for Michael Joseph. Uh, and she mentioned to me that, do I realize that there were two Michael Josephs before the one I requested?
and there was a pause there for four or five seconds. Nothing was said, and she departed. And I realized what she had told me is that the birth certificate I requested, I passed mine. Now don't underestimate the staff. They know whose birth certificate is whose. So she knew I'd passed mine. So I went back, looked out, found the first Michael Joseph, and I kind of had an instinct that that was it. And it was it. And as I submitted the form, she knew it was it. So that's how I got my birth certificate. I hope this helps you. Take care.